I'm Laura Nickerson here to give you the buzz on local news and events. I'm standing here at Grape Arbor Park where the Calabasas Baseball and T-Ball League is just getting into full swing. In fact, this team behind me is practicing, getting ready for one of their big games. So let's hang out with them and I'll fill you in on the buzz. These kids are having so much fun and baseball is so popular. So I just had to ask them, what is it that you love about baseball? I like, I like to play baseball because I get to hit the ball with the bat. Um, I like baseball because it's really fun and it um, is so fun and you get to hit balls with bats and it's just doing so much fun. I, I like to go baseball because it's fun and I like to hit the ball. I like baseball because um, I, I, I like hitting it, the ball. I like baseball because you can get the ball with your mitt. <laughs> you guys are so cute, you just make me cry. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's no crying in baseball. Welcome to this week's dramatic Pause. <gasps> hey, have you been wanting to see a new musical, but you're so bored with the same old, same old, or everything seems like a movie you've already seen? Well, guess what? The Cabrillo Music Theater is presenting In the Heights. It is a refreshingly hip and cool new musical, and it's guaranteed to knock your socks off. In the Heights uses contemporary dance and music to tell the tale of a vibrant community on the brink of change in New York's Washington Heights neighborhood. It opens at the Thousand Oaks Civic Plaza on March 28th and runs through April 6th. For info and tickets, call 805-449-ARTS or visit cabriomusictheater.com. This musical is so much fun. There's hip hop, rap, Latin dancing, and a ton of laughs. So make sure that you see it and support our local theaters. Oh, and I auditioned for the show, but they didn't cast me. I can't imagine why. In the heights. La, 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 la. Woo. Hey, just a reminder, make sure you head by and grab a sub at Jersey Mike's on March 26th. On the 26th, you're going to be able to help fight cancer because 100% of the proceeds from sales that day will go directly to the Talbert Family Foundation. So grab a sub and feel good about yourself. And in local news, Calabasas will be a host town for the 2015 Special Olympics. They'll be one of 100 other cities in the Southern California area to provide the athletes with accommodations, meals, activities, and local travel. In exchange, we're going to get a chance to meet those athletes right here in the city and learn about people with intellectual disabilities. And now it's time for the Calabasas Sports Blast with Rohit Ghosh. Ooh. Thanks, Laura. With basketball season done at Calabasas High School, I think we can finally focus a little more on Viewpoint High School sports. I just found out that all their varsity teams are undefeated when playing on Tuesdays this month. So over the last three weeks, they're 16-0. Hashtag go Patriots. Now for some actual news. In varsity tennis, Viewpoint beat Milken High School 12-6 as Darius McKenzie and Jonathan Starr swept all three sets in singles play. The girls' swim team destroyed Oaks Christian, 127-42, as Marissa Thompson broke her own team record in the 50 with a time of 25.05 seconds. Well done. The varsity baseball team dominated Brentwood High School 5-1, as Mitch Kerner pitched five shutout innings and allowed just two hits the whole game. Viewpoints on spring break this week, but the boys' baseball team gets back into action next week on March 29th at the Anaheim Lions Club 40th Annual Tournament. Wait a minute. There we go. As we get closer to summer, make sure all you athletes out there stay hydrated. You need at least eight glasses of water a day. It's gonna get hot in LA very soon. Well, it already sort of has. And that's it for this week's Sports Blast. With CTV, I'm Rohit Kosh. Back to you, Laura. Yeah. Thanks, Rohit. 
Hey, here's some more local news for you. LVUSD has won an award for recycling at work. Now, this is really cool. They got the award from the nonprofit organization Keep America Beautiful and RecycleAtWork.org. And they're being honored for their hard work recycling in LVUSD. Hey, new mommies, mommies to be, and some of you seasoned mommy vets, wake up! Sorry, I just figured you'd probably be taking this second to catch up on some of your much needed sleep. Did you know before you had kids that you would be so tired all the time? Well, it sounds like you need a little real talk. And guess what? I know just the person to give it to you. The mommy train is joining with the pump station and Dr. Jill Campbell to hold the talk, Real Talk on Becoming a Mommy, at the play destination in Agora Hills on March 26 at 10.30 a.m. Little ones are welcome, and you can get information at mommytrain.com. Are you stressed out? How about now? Well, you should really relax. Go to the Calabasas Library on March 27th at noon for the talk, Mind, Body, Spirit, Everyday Stress and Relaxation Techniques. And you'll be nice and calm and relaxed, like you are right now. Right? Make sure you come out and support the Calabasas T-Ball and Baseball League. And if you want to sign your kid up, there's still a few spots available. So contact DeAnza Park for information. I'm Laura Nickerson. I'll be back next week with more of The Buzz.